today on MTG Unpacked, it's release day for Magic the Gathering Adventures in the Forgotten Realm. So today we are taking a look at the new theme boosters. And the question I'm sure everyone has, are these worth it? Usually the answer is no, we're going to find out today. So let's check it out. So I will go starting here with my favourite colour, red. And what do you get with these? So enhance your deck with 35 cards, including at least one rare or mythic. Add 25 lands to start building a 60 card deck. All right, so the other thing you can do with these is combine them. So have like a two color deck. Uh, these go for about 750 each. So a bit pricey, you're probably better off getting a couple of set boosters, but you never know, you could get lucky, or you could end up looking like this guy. So let's check it out here, let's see what we get in this red one. Starting off with Hoarding Ogre, Dueling Rapier, Kick in the Door, Burning Hands, Valor Singer, Barbarian class, okay, so that's the new type of enchantment in this set. Brazen Dwarf, get a couple of those. Chaos Channeler, Earth Cult Elemental, Plundering Barbarian, Magic Missile, the classic D&D spell, Hoarding Ogre again. You find some prisoners, I like the flavor on these. Choose one, break their chains or interrogate them. Jaded Soul Sword, Plundering Barbarian again, Unexpected Windfall, hopefully what we're going to find in this pack, Mimic, that's fun. Tiger Tribe Hunter, you come to the Knoll Camp. Chaos Channeler again, another Mimic. Rapier, you find some Prisoners. Spare Dagger, Faraday's Fireball, that's cool. Swarming goblins! Yes, my favourite part of a new set. Whenever there are goblins, we are always happy. You see a pair of goblins. Ugly looking pair, aren't they? Dragon's Fire. Another Windfall. Price of Loyalty. Hulking Bugbear. Okay, so they've uh, classed that as a goblin. Improvise Weaponry. <laughs> Whacking the uh, Mind Flayer in the head. Hilarious Jaded Soul Sword, and the rare is Zorn. Okay, so we'll pop him down here, and the Tomb of Annihilation. So we do have dungeons in this set. Lost Mine of Fandelver. Okay, so we've got two in there. So I'm curious how many of those we end up with. Alright, so let's rearrange things. We'll put our rares here, see how many dungeons. I think there's only three to collect anyhow. Okay, so the black theme booster. Wonder if we'll get that lich. Forget what his name is. Uh, a Sererak, is that the one? Leave it out in the comments if I've horribly screwed that up. Okay, so black theme booster. Please don't look like this. We want to find the goods here. Starting off with Shambling Ghast. Okay, zombie. Warlock class, Zombie Ogre, Fane Death, Deadly Dispute, Death Priest of Miracle. Okay, so Tieflings are a thing. Sepulcher Ghoul, Eyes of the Beholder. Ah, yes. The memories come flooding back. Used to play the PC games, Eye of the Beholder. Anyone remember those? I like this ability. Target creature gets minus 11, minus 11. Until end of turn, some cool artwork as well. We've got another Ghast, Horde Robber, Baleful Beholder. I'm liking this one already. Herald of Hadar, another Death Priest, Fates Reversal, another Ogre, Clattering Skeletons. Okay, so you can do some skeletal tribal decks in this set. Lightfoot Rogue, Yunti Fangblade. Okay, Snake Rogue. Precipitous Drop, Fates Reversal, another Beholder, Devour Intellect, this is fun, we've got this brain with uh, hands, arms there, legs, going up to the guy who looks suitably terrified, check for traps, Horde Robber, another Ghast, 
Grim Wanderer, Goblin Warlock, Fain Death, Sepulcher Ghoul, and I should point out you are not necessarily going to get the exact same cards I've got here. I think it's going to be slight variations, but yeah, mostly just commons and uncommons, and then you'll get a rare or mythic. We've got a Death Priest there, Manticore, okay, Deadly Dispute, Ray of Enfeeblement, is that another... Okay, I thought that might have been another Beholder, but no. Sepulcher Ghoul, Thieves Tools, and Vorpal Sword. Which, that reminds me, I'll just grab one over here. So this is the Buyer Box promo. Extended art. But yeah, we've just got the regular variety here. Pop that down there. Another Tomb of Annihilation, Lost Mine of Fandelva. Okay, so nothing new with the Dungeons. On to white. So which color here is your favorite in magic? Is it red and black? Or either combo of those? Or blue maybe you're uh, a control player? Or maybe you like to just play a bit of everything? Let me know. Okay, so white we have Steadfast Paladin. Priest of Ancient Law, Celestial Unicorn, okay. So we've got the old school, I think they call these the showcase, supposed to look like the old D&D &D monster manuals. I'll see, I'll set that aside, see how many of those we can get. Cleric Class, Moon Blessed Cleric, Minimus Containment, Potion of Healing, Dawnbringer Cleric, Devoted Paladin, Delver's Torch, Gloom Stalker, Planar Ally, Veteran Dungeoneer, another Paladin, Dungeon Map, that would come in handy, Venture into the Dungeon of course, Cloister Gargoyle, You're Ambushed on the Road, I like this, the flavour of these is off the charts, another Paladin, another Priest, another Unicorn, okay so that's the regular version. You hear something on watch. Divine Smite. Portable Hole. That's fun. Paladin's Shield. Another Gloomstalker Veteran Dungeoneer. Half Elf Monk. Another Paladin. Great Axe. Rally Maneuver. Blink Dog. Another Ally. Steadfast Paladin. Nearly there. White Dragon. And Nadar Selfless Paladin. Okay, so that is apparently a Dragon Knight. And we get the Tomb of Annihilation and Lost Mine of Fandelva. Okay, so what is the other one? I can't remember what that is. Maybe we'll find it. Okay, so that is white. Nothing crazy as of yet. Blue theme booster. Have you actually picked these up before and had any luck? Got any good pulls? Because usually you just get hosed. Okay, so we do get here a Ginny Windseer. Okay, so that is a Jin Arcane Investigator, Scion of Stygia, Rhyme Shield Frost Giant, another dungeon map. You come to a river, Eccentric Apprentice, Displacer Beast. That is awesome. Cat Beast, Secret Door, Shortcut Seeker, Scion of Stygia. You see a guard approach. Ray of Frost split the party. Another Windseer. Secret Door. Investigator. Blue Dragon. Okay, so we do have a bunch of different colored dragons at least. Air Cult. Elemental. Charmed Sleep. Clever Conjurer. Pixie Guide. A couple of those. Sign of Stygia. Trickster's Talisman. So I thought... No, I thought that would be a like a coin flip or dice roll card, but apparently not. You see a guard approach, spike pit trap, another Jin, power of persuasion, sliver raven, or no, silver raven, I'm so used to reading slivers on these. Morden Canaan's polymorph, which uh, that would be a good pull if we got a Morden Canaan. Split the party, Stygia, soul knife spy, and Tasha's hideous laughter. Okay, so that is a cool D&D &D spell. 
And the Tomb of Annihilation, let me guess, Lost Mine of Fandelva. Okay, we've got a ton of those. On to some green. Looks like an owlbear. Maybe we'll find an owlbear in here. And is there a particular D&D monster you're looking forward to pulling? Is it the Beholders? Uh, maybe the uh, Skeletons at Sererac or something else? Lots to choose from. Okay, so green. We have a purple worm. Find the path. You find a cursed idol, Underdark Basilisk. Owl bear, there we go. They've classed as a bird bear. Hill giant herd gorger, green dragon, druid class, Sylvan Shepherd, Inspiring Bard. What is this one? Circle of the Moon Druid. You happen on a glade. Circle of the Moon Druid Underdark Basilisk. Rangers Longbow Eltergard Ranger. Loathsome Troll! You knew it was going to happen sooner or later. We have been trolled. I swear it's the week of the troll. We had a uh, troll video earlier in the week. If you missed that, I'll chuck a link in the corner. Nice troll on that one. Find the path. You find the cursed idol. Choose your weapon. Bullet. Okay, so that is a beast. Wild shape. Compelled Jewel, Green Dragon, another one. Plummet with some new artwork. Direwolf Prowler, a couple of those guys. Choose your weapon. Eltergard Ranger, another bullet. Jewel, Basilisk, Wild Shape. Getting there, Spoils of the Hunt. And Instrument of the Bards. Okay, and Tomb of Annihilation. Lost Mine of Fandelva. Okay, so nothing new there. One more to go, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And by the way, these are the dungeon themed variety, whatever that means. We'll find out in a moment. Okay, so I'm wondering, we're probably going to get different colours in this one. Wandering Troubadour. Evolving Wilds. Fantastic new artwork there. Secret Door. Shortcut Seeker. Bar the Gate. 50 feet of rope. Secret Door. Shortcut Seeker. Displacer Beast. Bar the Gate. Eccentric Apprentice. Fly. Clattering Skeletons. Awesome. Fates Reversal Dungeon Crawler. I don't think we saw that guy yet. Precipitous Drop Zombie Ogre. Yunti Fangblade. A couple of those. Another Evolving Wilds. Intrepid Outlander. Spiked Pit Trap. Wandering Troubadour. You find a Cursed Idol. Another Apprentice. Secret Door. Dungeon Map. Secret Door. Lots of secret doors in this one. Another, you find a cursed idol, <clears throat> wandering troubadour, find the path, choose your weapon, mimic, you meet in a tavern, that's a fun theme, D&D, &D. and treasure chest, okay, so the final cards here, Tomb of Annihilation and Lost Mine of Fandelva, okay, so no mythics in these, um, I'm gonna say, yeah, you probably don't want to waste your money on these, but let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.